love space. You know that tune, and you know who we have with us now. Bill Nye, the science guy, he has been getting us pumped about the final frontier and all its mysteries for decades, opening up our minds to the deep space that stretches out infinitely above and around us, reminding us daily of how small we truly Bill Nye, known to millions as the science guy, had always been the face of accessible science, a calm and optimistic voice in a chaotic world. But when he sat down for a rare press interview in July 2025, something was different. His face was solemn, his hands clasped tightly, and his words, nothing short of haunting. What the James Webb Space Telescope has just captured, he began, isn't just unexpected, it's terrifying. It redefines everything we thought we knew about the universe. So, what exactly did the James Webb Space Telescope see? It started with a routine scan of a dark region of space in the constellation Eridanus, a place known to astronomers as a cosmic void, a region nearly devoid of galaxies, stars, or even dark matter, a vast emptiness. But Webb's instruments, far more sensitive than anything ever launched, detected something. A light. At first, NASA believed it to be an artifact, some kind of reflection or error, but the light didn't disappear. In fact, it moved. Not only did it move, it pulsed at regular intervals. When filtered through Webb's infrared sensors, a strange shape emerged, a perfectly symmetrical, hexagonal in design, floating alone in space and reflecting light from no visible source. As researchers enhanced the image, the object's detail became clearer. It was not a star. It was not a galaxy. It was not natural. One astronomer who reviewed the data anonymously told the New York Times, we're not saying it's artificial, but nothing we know in nature forms this exact symmetry at this scale. Within hours, Webb was reprogrammed to focus exclusively on the object. What followed in the next 48 hours would shake the space science community and terrify them. Because the object didn't just reflect light, it seemed to respond to it. NASA engineers ran a passive infrared burst toward the structure using Webb's Deep Field Targeting Array, a harmless, low-energy signal often used in atmospheric scanning. The result? The object pulsed back. Six flashes, then three, then one. Binary. It was as if it was acknowledging Webb's signal. And that's when Bill Nye was called in, alongside other public science figures, for a classified briefing. According to sources close to that meeting, Nye sat silently as the footage was shown, the light, the pulses, and then one final flash. A new shape appeared. It looked like a circle within a triangle, or as one analyst noted, a human eye staring back. In his interview, Bill Nye didn't sugarcoat what he saw. Gone was the playful tone, the enthusiasm. Instead, he leaned forward and said, We've always wondered whether we're alone. This image, it's the first whisper that we may not be. The image had gone through several levels of NASA and ESA authentication. Experts in image processing, quantum optics, and cosmology had examined it frame by frame. There was no glitch, no corruption. The structure was real. The pulses were intentional. And then came the part no one was ready for. A spectrographic reading of the final pulse revealed it contained embedded data, compressed waves carrying micro-patterns consistent with language encoding. Not just noise, but structure. A potential message. Cryptographers were brought in. AI decoders began sifting through the data, looking for syntax, structure, repetition, anything resembling communication. And while a full translation remains elusive, there was one phrase, when converted using advanced AI language models, that stood out. You found the edge. The edge? The edge of what? Space? Reality? Perception? It was at this point that Bill Nye's demeanor reportedly shifted. According to one source at the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Nye quietly asked the scientists, did we just cross a line we weren't supposed to? This wasn't just about alien life anymore. This was about contact. The image itself had now been locked under restricted clearance, but leaks, inevitable in today's world, began to circulate online. 
A blurred version of the shape appeared on Reddit, followed by a digital recreation uploaded to an astronomy forum. That post had over 20 million views in under 24 hours before being mysteriously taken down. In a private YouTube live stream, now archived and deleted, Bill Nye reportedly said, If this is real, it's not just a discovery. It's an awakening, one we may not be psychologically prepared for. Social media exploded. Hashtag the eye trended worldwide. Panic and wonder collided in real time. And yet, the scientific community remained mostly quiet. Some in disbelief, others perhaps under gag orders. But not Bill Nye. He went public. He said, this is not about fear. It's about curiosity with caution. We must move forward, but carefully. Because for the first time, we're not the only ones looking. Since the discovery, space agencies around the world have shifted priorities. The James Webb Telescope, originally programmed to observe early galaxies, has now been tasked with continuous observation of the hexagonal object. It hasn't moved since its last pulse, but NASA reports that its radiation signature has changed, as if it's waiting. China's Tiangong station confirmed detecting an unusual background noise in the same region. The European Space Agency logged a gravitational anomaly near the void. Small, but undeniable. Something is happening. Bill Nye now leads a new coalition of scientists, philosophers, and policy leaders tasked with preparing Earth for what many are calling the Cosmic Disclosure Era. In his most recent TED Talk, Nye posed questions humanity had never seriously asked. What do we do if the message becomes clearer? Who speaks for Earth? Are we truly ready for the psychological and societal shift of confirming we are not alone? He concluded his speech with a statement that sent chills through the audience. We've spent centuries looking at the stars, wondering if anyone's out there. Maybe the real question is, what happens when they finally answer? Governments are now quietly funding programs to explore advanced cryptography, language modeling, and interstellar diplomacy. Billionaire space CEOs like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have offered resources to help decode the signal faster. And yet, the public is divided. Some fear it. Others welcome it. But one thing is clear. This isn't a science fiction movie anymore. This is real. It's now. It's history unfolding in front of us. As of today, NASA has not released a full official statement about the image. But insiders say an announcement is coming. One that may change everything from science textbooks to global religions. And through it all, Bill Nye continues to speak. Not as a celebrity scientist, but as a concerned human being. If we truly understand what that image means, then we must approach it with humility, unity, and an unshakable respect for the unknown. Because once the silence is broken, there's no going back.